Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this particular video, I want to show you guys how easy it is to repair a dead a board Samsung Galaxy S5. As you can see, I've got 75% charge battery, it still doesn't power up. Still, while it's charging, uh, I'm trying to make a full reset, a full factory reset. It, I've got no response from the phone or whatsoever. Actually, this board I think came back to us from a phone shop repair. I think they they assemble it back after they uh, put it uh, to ultrasound path. I think uh, they left it for more than 10 minutes and that's why the board is dead now. They killed the, the power manager I see. So I'm gonna disassemble the phone. If you wanna see how to, to remove the screen with all the details step by step, I've got a different video. Uh, I think I'll leave it in the description down below so you can have a look if you want to. So after I disassemble the board, I'm gonna show which one is the power manager I see. But in my case, it's very simple. This repair will be really simple. I'm just gonna reflow the chip. I'm gonna put a bit flux and try to to clean the might be the uh, the solution left it from the ultrasound path. So hopefully, it's gonna fix. It's gonna get it fixed. Actually, this board have uh, two different solution to to fix it. You can either reflow the chip. The power manager I see, or you can um, just replace it with a new one. In my case, after I did some investigation over the board, it's not necessary the power manager I see the main one, which is the I think it's a Max or some, something like that. In my case, it's a power manager I see just for display, which is been shorted. So let's have a look. Unfortunately, when I filmed this. Uh, this video I filmed it with some different S5 I think which as you can see the camera it doesn't auto focus unfortunately but anyway I'm trying to get a better camera so I can film it home actually these videos um, I filmed them uh, over over the workplace where, where I work so you can't see proper but that that's the power manager I see the big one but there's nothing wrong with that one so I'm gonna show you which one was uh, actually shorted and uh, which one I, I'm just gonna reflow it and let's hope for the best it will work <clears throat> anything in electronics is easy to repair as long as you have the electronics basis you know if you know how a diode works how a resistor works how a capacitance works everything can be fixed by simple common sense uh, so that's the one which I, I'm trying to reflow, the Max 77804. Actually, that's the power I see which uh, which supplies as well the the display uh, processor and the main chip. <clears throat> so I'm moving to my my special uh, solder station uh, unit, which is really shit as you can see. I don't even have a way I work, I don't even have proper tools. <laughs> so as you can see, just just have a look, I'm using an iPhone 4, a glass, I, I think it's a broken LCD, I don't give a shit about it. I'm just using to to to, to don't get burned my, my desk, so... Um, if, you, if you're a beginner in soldering stations and uh, stuff like that, and if you have no not too much experience, this tape actually can help you a lot not to put uh, not to apply too much uh, hot air over the other board so if you use uh, this uh, cotton tape is cool you can find it over eBay it's quite cheap not not more than five pounds I think just use it to to protect all the exterior area so apply a bit flux this flux flux actually is made only for SMD parts surface mounted devices uh, components which it help it helps to align proper the component over the PCB. So if you don't use that the special flux, it's not gonna you you're not gonna be able to fix it. You'll just get it get it worse and worse. So yes, it's just better if I zoom in a bit. So one two, I'm using 400 degrees every time I'm using 400 degrees because. I can work uh, really fast over the board so I don't want to apply too much heat over the board 
for for too too long time. So what what I do it's quite easy. After like thirty seconds, I don't think more than thirty seconds, the chip actually can be moved a bit. That's why I, I still have my tweezers in a, in one corner. So after I'm satisfied that the the chip realigned back to its main position, that that was a proper reflow. There's a lot of ways how to reflow, but I'm not gonna go over it. Anyway, this is a small chip. You don't need to have like uh, many skills to just uh, reflow it. It's quite an easy job as long as you protect the board and everything. As you can see, my battery connector is a bit burned, but it's just fine. Or well, uh, if it's still working, it's okay. So let's have a look. After I clean, uh, I forgot to say, I forgot to tell you, uh, I'm using like Falcon 530. It's a contact spray cleaner, but there's plenty of uh, sprays. In Italy, I think you can get uh, G22, which is even better than Falcon 530, but it's more expensive, definitely. It's a German product, anyway. But that one was uh, specially made for for board repairs. So, I'm just trying to reconnect everything back. I'm putting back the charging port, which is really easy to fit it back. What I'm going to try to do is just a simple test to see all the functionality of the phone. If it's still working, the proxy sensor, because where, where I apply the heat, it's a proxy chip as well. So if that's dead, I need to replace the chip as well. But in this case, uh, the, the repair was quite successful. As you can see, guys, I could say this is quite an easy repair. Everybody can do it. Just give it time. The skills, uh, you'll get them in time while you try to attempt or repair more boards. I would suggest in the beginning to try uh, reflow different kind of chips like from Nokia or stuff like that because they got quite similar similar technology in there. It's a BGA anyway. So I'm gonna make a short over the power button connector. Oh, so as you can see, I've got power from uh, from the battery now. But that's not enough. What you need to test is uh, to, to see if you if. Uh, if your phone still charges that's more important so in the end I will show you that it's still charging that's more important because if the phone doesn't charge that that means um, the um, power manager IC is not aligned proper might be it got contact only to to subtract the, the current from the battery but not from the charging port because they are two different channels Because to charge the battery, actually you need to you need to activate few MOSFETs. Because the MOSFETs actually need to need to power from the charging port to to get more current to put into the battery. So if that channel doesn't work, it means it's closed. So it's like uh, it's getting the power just from the battery. So that means uh, your phone is not proper repair. Uh, complete repair is after you you. Your phone is it's opening from the battery and still charging. That will be a satisfied repair. Okay, here I think I'm gonna put back uh, the phone back together, but just for a different test, like a full functional test. I'm gonna put a new bezel. I don't, I'm not I'm not gonna use the old bezel because it looks really shitty. Anyway, so if I fix the board, definitely I want to make it brand new if it's possible to sell it as a grade A. As you can see guys, nothing difficult, you don't have to be afraid of nothing, the board anyway is just dead. If the repair is unsuccessful, you, you've done nothing wrong. The board was dead before, so there's no harm trying it. This is how you're gonna learn. So as you can see, I just skipped a bit apart while I'm assembling the, the mid frame into the bezel. So what I wanna do is just wanna have a test, a full functionality test. Yes, so we have power as you can see. What I'm most interested as I said before is the um, proxy proxy chip. I want that one to to be still functional. Because the I did plenty of repairs over S5, quite a lot of repairs for any any kind of issues. And uh, lo loads of times uh, I had problem with the proxy chip because it's it's something really sensitive in there. So 
just a small uh, heat, a small pressure heat there will just damage the chip unfortunately. The repair is quite difficult, you have to do it in like just not more than a few seconds to take it off and put a new one and that's it. So let's have a look. Yeah, these are the keys this. Everything good so far. <clears throat> Touch. Touch is important if you remove the LCD. Make sure you don't cut the digitizer flex because actually S5 has two different flex. It's LCD flex and the digitizer flex. It's really difficult to repair. So yes, the proxy still far, still works. As you can see, where's my finger? It's it's a thingy ADC. That's analog digital converter. So if that one says uh, increases number increase, that's really fine. It means your proxy works quite proper. So, as you can see me with my long hair. <laughs> so that's it guys, very easy as you can see, nothing to fear of. So if you like the video, please subscribe, I'm gonna try to make more board repairs videos and uh, I'm, I'm actually trying to prepare an S7 edge uh, glass replacement. So loads of stuff to learn from. So in the end you see it's charging, that's really beautiful. So that's it for today guys. Good luck with all the repairs you have.